So uh, we are at the EBMT in Frankfurt uh, and tomorrow I will be presenting a talk uh, on uh, outcome of patients uh, with IBD after allogeneic stem cell transplantation. Uh, this is a case controlled study uh, done on the behalf of Transplant Complications Working Party. Uh, this is a very interesting topic because it has uh, not been uh, reviewed before. Uh, there are so far uh, matched analysis like this were not conducted. Uh, IBD uh, are, um, stands for inflammatory bowel disease, so this comprises Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And these are these autoimmune disorders that have been included into the transplant um, index score uh, because it seemed before that they are related to a higher non-relapse mortality and a higher uh, incidence of uh, grade 3 to 4 acute GVHD. Uh, however, uh, no matched uh, pair analysis was performed like this before, so we wanted to take uh, an advantage of the EBMT uh, registry and for that reason we did a case control uh, analysis of patients transplanted between 2011 uh, and 2015. Uh, we identified 175 IBD patients and uh, matched pair them uh, with uh, patients uh, in the EBMT registry by um, patient characteristics, uh, transplant characteristics and donor characteristics. And uh, surprisingly, we found that um, patients with IBD and without IBD had uh, very similar uh, non-relapse mortality, similar uh, incidences of uh, grade 2 to 4 acute GVHD, similar overall survival, no statistically different uh, GVHD free relapse free survival. The only difference was between uh, concerning chronic GVHD, so IBD patients had significantly more chronic uh, GVHD. So from our, our, our results, uh, we can conclude that IBD uh, as a single comorbidity is probably not uh, a contraindication to perform an allogeneic transplant. Uh, but uh, we should advise our patients uh, that uh, th having this autoimmune disorder before can uh, impact their quality of life, meaning they could be more prone to more chronic uh, GVHD. This study is particular because it's, it is the largest matched pair analysis done on this subject uh, ever. Of course, uh, the disadvantage is it is a retrospective analysis. Uh, and we do not uh, have uh, any information on the status of IBD at transplant and the uh, outcome of IBD after transplant because some studies have shown that allogeneic transplant can uh, cure uh, IBD as well. So it, it's, it's a very interesting subject because we know that uh, GVHD and uh, in special intestinal GVHD and inflammatory bowel diseases uh, share some similar driving mechanisms, uh, particularly the disruption of intestinal microbiota, which is a very hot subject in the field, and uh, also the um, uh, intestinal barrier loss, which together leads to uh, dysregulate, uh, dysregulated immune uh, response and uh, probably causes uh, both intestinal GVHD and uh, IBD, but uh, disruption of intestinal microbiota has also been related to non-intestinal autoimmune diseases. So it probably uh, also uh, dysregulates uh, in general the, uh, the balance between T helper cells and T regulatory cells and in that way induces autoimmune disorders. So of course in that context uh, it seems interesting uh, if the manipulation of intestinal microbiota uh, could uh, maybe um, help to better control autoimmune diseases and even of course chronic GVHD which has some characteristics of autoimmune diseases.